Yo, what is up, guys? It's me, the most practical of Asians, or practical Asian. It's right there in the name. And I have to say, I stepped away from Twitter, you know, just to live life, do other stuff. And when I come back, wow, did Twitter go on fire. I could not believe it. Now, one of the first things I want to tackle is the situation with Hassan Piker. And it's one that is confusing me a lot. If you don't know, Hassan Piker had a take about how he felt that streaming was draining. And the internet collectively didn't like it. Here, let me just go ahead and show you the clip. Yes, a real job can be gruesome, a real job can make you very tired, but a real job doesn't suck the soul out of you, you know what I mean? In the same way that nine hours of streaming absolutely will. Now before you say anything, I know I played a very short clip, but I need you to follow with me on this. Look, I get it. Hassan basically said streaming is socially draining for him. And to be honest, his take is not wrong here. That is something that is very indicative to him. This is something that only affects him. He is talking about that struggle for himself. With that being said, if you haven't worked in any kind of workplace before, or if you're trying to understand Hassan's point of view, I will go ahead and lay out a simple framework. Now I am someone who's worked retail and I've worked office jobs. And all jobs will come with skill sets and will come with stress. Now, in the side of stress, you have three types of stresses, physical, mental, and social. Why am I pointing out these three things? People who work retail or client side have to be very social. At the end of the day, you really don't want to talk to anyone. Or if you have a huge social battery, then you just go out and party. Number two is mental. Now, anything that takes a lot of mental strain, this could be, I don't know, something traumatic like law enforcement or something that I've gone through with IT right? You have to think through a lot of things. And finally, physical, where if someone's working construction, they're going to be picking up a lot of shit, probably. And they probably just don't want to go home and, you know, pick up the trash and stuff because they're just tired, man. Now, with that out of the way, when Hassan says his streaming job is socially draining, he's not saying that it's, you know, hard. He's saying that at the end of the day, I just don't want to be social. And I don't think that's a bad take at all. In fact, I don't even know Hassan. I'm not a fan of any of his stuff. I honestly don't watch anything about him. But to see this guy just get set on fire on Twitter just for saying, yo, what I do for streaming is just socially taxing on me that I'm not going to stand for. I'm not going to go ahead and just like kick the guy while he just said something that only relates to him. Like, come on, this is this is not fair to, you know, him or if this was someone else, like, let's just say if it was Mudahar from some ordinary gamers or let's bring up, I don't know, Charlie from, uh, you know, the Penguin Zero or uh, as you guys know him as Moist Critical. Let's just say they went ahead and made that same take. You guys would be fine with that. In fact, if they said it, you just would say like, OK, cool. But when it comes from Hassan, I don't know why everyone's just ready to gun him down just because he said, yeah, I'm socially taxed. It's kind of ridiculous. No, 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 no. Social battery wise, unless you're in retail, unless you're in fucking retail, it's very different. You're out of touch. I'm going to die, dude. There's motherfuckers who are accountants in here and they're misunderstanding what I'm saying. A real job does not expend your social battery in the same fucking way as someone who did a sales job, a real job, okay? I'm telling you, as someone who did, did both, like, nine hours of, of constant performance and people-pleasing taps you out from social scenarios. After nine hours of that, I could probably do fucking physical labor. It would not bother me but I can't fucking do more social shit. That's my point. Like, there are obviously real jobs out there that are good comparisons. Service sector, people-pleasing jobs would be very similar. Those are like, I think, customer service type shit. But like, if you're an accountant or if you're, even like in sales, my interactions with clients was limited way more limited than like constantly having to do this for nine hours with like a back and forth interaction for nine hours. That's what, that's what like sucks your, your social battery and you just tap out after it.
yeah, think about it this way. Like, um, you give presentations for your job, right? Imagine giving a presentation for nine hours straight. It's like, after a while, you'd be like, I don't want to talk ever again. <laughs> I think I've just made my position really clear on this. Like, look, again, the guy was just talking about social battery and how he just feels after he streams for nine hours. It is what it is. Uh, you know, people are people and the way they feel after they do their job or after they do something is only going to be for them. If they try and express it, you know, they shouldn't be put on the stake for it. But with that being said, if you like what you saw, like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike if you dislike it. And practically, I could give less of a shit about social batteries and how people feel about it. See ya. Bye.